In the end of the day, whether it's Jewish Israeli settlers, uh, Jewish Israeli racists, Jewish Israeli terrorists, uh, or it's the state of Israel, like both have caused nothing but like more destruction that was brought upon the Palestinian population here. Uh, in the year 2006, an Israeli military chief of command was asked, why does the state continue to destroy olive trees? And he said, and I quote, like their children, their trees look so naive as if they can't harm anyone. But like their children, several years later, they turn into a ticking bomb. An olive tree somehow turns into a ticking bomb, just like Palestinian children do, you know? Palestinians represent, for the state of Israel, a demographic bomb. So somehow a Palestinian will be born and somehow he will explode. Palestinian children have been blown away by Israeli bombs and Palestinian olive trees have been cut down or have been like uh, blown away by Israeli bulldozers or by Israeli uh, settlers. The main danger of the future of is Jewish Israel as a Jewish state in the future uh, is the Palestinian demography. So the Palestinians will be, ma will be majority, I think they estimated in, in 2040, vast majority. So they consider this is the, the end of Israel. And when you talk about demography, mainly, it is, it is, this is like any, the essence of the, 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 the racism. The occupation, we consider the occupation, it's by itself, it's, it's racism. It's apartheid. The wall by itself, how it's like reshaping the map of the West Bank. It's built on Oslo map, on area A, B, C, where they were surrounding the Palestinian populated areas in area A and B with the walls. And this would be the limit of the Palestinian expansion in the future. This is bordering the Palestinians' life, taking out and isolating all their resources that's in Area C, which is over 60% of the West Bank. And they divide it into three main groups, like North, Middle, South. And within the middle, there is 22 other enclaves that are surrounded by settlements, bypass roads, and all that. So this is how they decide the future of the Palestinians, living in isolated ghettos and reservations, like in the, way in the West Bank. So looking at the future of the wall, it is a long-term ethnic cleansing. Because when you take out the land that the people are supposed to continue in the future, living in and expand in the future, and limit them within walls, so they will keep growing in the same spot. In 20 years, this isolations will be flooded with people. So there is no other way for them but to live out, outside. This is in brief about our uh, political situation. I say correct, the diagnosis is racism, colonialism, the therapy is resistance, the prognosis is good if we have strong resistance. And uh, part of our resistance is what we do in this museum. Because what we are doing in, uh, in, in, around the museum in the garden is develop uh, permaculture, for example, develop technologies like biological control, like aquaponics, things like that, to intensify production, because we need to have food security for the people. And we need to have better environmental, taking care of our environment. In 1995, we started also uh, doing camping here in the village. Uh, every August, we bring uh, children from six years old until 90 years old. 
to sleep here for one week uh, around the church and in the church uh, to maintain the struggle and the stories and tell the right and 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 tell the the children the things that they don't learn in school or anywhere else uh, we the third generation i think are the fruits of this uh, camps because four years ago uh, we decided that uh, uh, we want to do something else for the struggle uh, and we want to start uh, sleeping here and and come back to Iqrit despite all the decisions of the of the government and despite them uh, you know stopping us from coming back or building or doing anything on the land first saturday of a month we have a holy mass here during the holidays um, uh, people get married here uh, you know uh, what, whatever we can do in the church uh, we do it one of the aims of us staying here is really studying the land, studying the, the environment here, learn how to plant plants and live the life that our grandfather and grandmothers lived here. Uh, so we also try to plant our own uh, vegetables and fruits. When we decided that we start, we started with planting three trees and then came every day and, and you know to water the trees. And then after two weeks, we saw that the government, the land authorities came and destroyed the uh, the trees so we planted again and it goes over now for four years we believe in our rights we believe that justice should happen here in Iqrit you know they are aiming of uh, people forgetting and we want to show the people that we're not forgetting we're still struggling and we will continue fighting until getting our lands back. The term existence is resistance has became more of a practical thing because what uh, Jewish nationalists or the people we call Zionists today, what they are after is the very existence of the Palestinian population in Palestine. They want them out because a Palestinian is an obstacle uh, in the face of turning Palestine into a Jewish-only place. You continue to survive in Gaza, you continue to survive in Jerusalem, you continue to survive in the uh, Palestinian communities within the State of Israel, and you continue to survive in the occupied uh, West Bank. Because you know what the State of Israel aims for is to make your life completely unbearable to the point where you would choose to leave. So by not leaving, by continuing to exist, you defy Israeli policies. نأجل توصيل رسالة لهذا الاحتلال وللقطعان المستوطنين الموجودين عندهم. هذا بيجي بناء على قناعتنا إنه هذول المستوطنين وهذا الاحتلال مش رايح وجوده في هاي الأرض هو مؤقت ورايح يزول لذلك بنحاول كل سنة إن نعزز صمود هؤلاء المزارعين من خلال الدعم إن كان البشري ولا الدعم أي دعم بنقدر نقدمه لهؤلاء المزارعين. In the past, uh, in the past, in the beginning of uh, when the occupation came, the volunteer work was very activity. The Palestin all Palestinians uh, help each other. But nowadays, volunteer work uh, be back very back because of this the occupation uh, be power in this uh, in, in our land and in, in Palestine. So we have, I have to do a promotion for the concept of. Uh, the volunteer work in its in its uh, uh, its form, in its form. So uh, it's not important that I I will not collect money, but I have something more than uh, that. I collecting money. I help the the people. When you help the people, it's very you 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 will feel. According to my own opinion, I feel very happy because uh, I uh, I let them. Uh, I support them. I, I let them stay in, the, in their land, not leave their land uh, to go far away. So it's not for me. I will, I will defeat, uh, defeat our land. So I have to struggle. And I believe that I must struggle. I like to struggle in everywhere.
in the land, in the street, in in in, in a way. <laughs> the state of Israel has a reputation in the West that we Palestinians have no idea where it came from. It's like the only democracy in the Middle East. But we Palestinians have experienced the state of Israel in a completely different way. The true nature of the state of Israel is that of racism and oppression and expulsion and like murder and destruction of homes and theft of land and theft of of everything. That's the true nature of the state of Israel. So by going on with the popular struggle in Palestine, you expose the true nature of the state of Israel by what it is rather than by what it claims to be. Thank <laughs> you.